Hi, Jim Berthold here from OLI Systems. <clears throat> One of the nice things about using the OLI virtual machine for training is that you don't have to install any software. One of the difficult things about using the OLI virtual machine for training is that it's hard to transfer files from the virtual machine back to your computer and from your local computer to the virtual machine. In this example, we're going to transfer a file created during the course right here you can see on the screen pH neutralization with feedback control and we're going to take the laborious task of transferring it from the virtual machine to your desktop and we're going to start by making sure that you're in the learning console this is the link that OLA said sent to you you need to start it and run the program just like you did before if you do not get this display with that you have this learning console manager on the right hand side then this will not work so here's how we're going to do it we're first going to start with this little gear icon at the top and we're going to go ahead and click it and click pop out this will bring up a method to transfer files to be quite honest I can't get the QR code to work but I can get the open content pane and what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click it and I'm going to copy the link address you could also open it and copy this link address. We're not going to do that here. We'll close it. Now in the actual virtual machine, we're going to open up our browser. Now on this machine, I have both Chrome and Edge installed. So I'm just going to start with Chrome. It will actually take several seconds for you to launch it. It is an internet connection. It goes to the VM firewalls, but eventually it will uh, show up. And we're just going to move this gently out of the way. Like I said, we'll move it gently out of the way. We'll create a new window. Okay, after some fiddling, I got the uh, window opened up. I had to get rid of the Chrome initial settings. I'm going to go ahead and paste in the that URL and I'm going to go directly to the link. This is the third option here. It will open up a window. It takes a little second to do it. And we can now see our file. I would actually leave this open uh, while the course is running. It will again take several seconds to make the connection and open the program. Now this is the file manager program running inside the virtual machine. And there it is. Now we'll go ahead and do some windows rearranging here. We'll just move this out of the way. I'm going to take that file and we're just going to go ahead, drop it right into this drop action. It says copy, we'll let go. And it starts to upload it. And you can see very quickly, it has uploaded it into the learning console here. I'll move this over to the side. And what I found is the easiest is just to go ahead and click that file. And you can see it brings up the standard Windows uh, download. It's actually done very quickly. You can click on the File Open button. I actually have it in a different window. This is actually on my local computer. You can see I actually did it during the test here. Uh, and this is the file on your local desktop. You can see this is my name here. It's not the virtual machine. This is how you can transfer files to uh, your local machine from the virtual machine. Thank you.